Today, President Trump gave the commencement address for the United States Coast Guard Academy. And during that speech, he made the claim that he had been treated more unfairly than any politician before him. And when I read that article uh, by Politico and later by USA Today, I started to think back because, you know, I'm not a person who got into this yesterday. I'm, I feel I'm very much aware of most candidates from within the last 40 to 50 years that have been involved in presidential politics. And I was thinking about Geraldine Ferraro, who ran as the running mate for Vice President Mondale, or former Vice President Mondale, in the 1984 election, which ultimately secured Reagan a second term. And I thought about what she went through from being uh, given rhetoric in regards to her gender, having Catholic voters and groups go against her for being of that religion, but also of being pro-choice, which was noted as separate from the way that uh, individuals such as Ted Kennedy were treated. I just want to make sure, get that correct. Yep. Let's confirm her religion. So, also remembering what Barbara Bush, then First Lady, said about her, her name, uh, her thinking of her as something that sounds like rich. When I thought about all of that, and, you know, even after that, where she was still uh, critiqued for thing, comments she was making about Obama a couple of years before she passed away back in 2011. I really have to disagree with him. I have to disagree. I, I can't give him one iota of sympathy because I know from being as entrenched in this stuff as I am that there are people who ran before him who were met with opposition I mean, just for being a religion that is very mainstream, there are a large number of Catholics, including myself, in this country. And that was a talking point of opposition for her because she was pro-choice. You know, you see that, and then you see him talking about people mad at him over his firing of the FBI director, his allowing of the Keystone XL pipeline, that quote-unquote tax cut, the wall. You know, it's not as if we're just choosing to mess with him to mess with him. He's the president, and he's going to get more focused than most other politicians. But that doesn't mean we're going to like him more than the others. We're going to give him more flack because he's supposed to be doing the most out of anybody for the whole country. And it's as if he doesn't realize that. So I apologize to everyone from that academy who heard that commencement speech. I wish you guys could have just covered your ears because that's that's nonsense. That's completely off the wall in relation to what is factual, which is that we have had people in the past get done far worse than he has. And Miss Ferraro was a prime example of that.